Hi, Rob, tell me about the case. The, first of all, the uh, suspect, tell me what, what's going on with this case. Um, we arrested, or uh, Montgomery County Precinct 3 uh, constable's office and detectives arrested a Mark Stephen Mills for the first degree felony offense of aggr aggregate theft over, uh, over $300,000 based upon the statements provided by approximately 15 complainants and other individuals who came forward alleging that they had been scammed and ripped off by this defendant who held himself out as an owner of a, a pool company called St. Croix, C-R-O-I-X, uh, in Willis. And um, he basically would, would, would gave people the impression that he could dig a pool, make it all look you know, all nice and pretty and everything. And it turns out that uh, according to what our witnesses reported and our investigation has uncovered is that he wasn't very good at keeping his word. How many customers are we looking at so far? Well, we have about 15 individuals named in our complaints scattered throughout Montgomery County, Polk County, Liberty County, Walker County. There may be some other counties that aren't necessarily listed in the PC statement, but this investigation is ongoing. And uh, we will, uh, Gabby, Miss Becker, and I will continue to work very hard at uh, ensuring that justice is done. Now, name the company where they're in Willis. It's St. Croix, C R O I X. Their their office was right there on the feeder road, southbound, just north of uh, on, on 45, just north of the 1097 and Interstate 45 exit in Willis. So what type of sales tactic was he using to get this money? Well, he would just, he gave people the impression that he was a legitimate businessman, basically, with, for lack of any other better way to describe it at this point. Um, and people believed him, people relied on the things that he said, and it, he seemed legitimate to them. And as a result, a lot of the folks that are listed in the PC complaint parted with a substantial amount of money, uh, relying upon the uh, what turned out to be misstatements that the defendant made to them. You think we still got some more victims out there? Well, we're still working hard, and we encourage anybody uh, that b believes they have been, they've had bad business dealings or that they have been harmed by Mark Mills to call the Montgomery County Constable's Office, Precinct 3, Detective Jared Tunstall, T U N S T A L L, at 281 364 4211. Okay. Gabby, yeah, kind of a big case for you too? Yes, yes sir. It's one of the uh, biggest I've tried with Rob at least. Just a lot of boxes of data? and. Oh, absolutely. Yes, we have a whole bunch of boxes of data. We have a lot of victims that we've been in contact with, a lot of documents to go through. Um, it's, it's a big one there. I mean, I've had the privilege to work with a great prosecutor here. She's young, she, but she's a lot of energy, a lot of drive. She's done a great job. Precinct 3 has done an outstanding job. At, uh, Investigators from our office took part in the uh, in the arrest of the defendant Monday morning. Uh, he's currently sitting in the Montgomery County Jail, charged with the first degree felony offense of aggregate theft. Uh, and the case is pending, I believe, in the 221st District Court with a bond set at one million dollars, based upon the large amount of money he's alleged to have taken from these folks. Victims, what are they saying? I mean, uh, I mean, they're, they've got to be shook up pretty good. Well, I mean, losing a know, lot of, a lot of them just, you know, hey, we've been waiting for a pool forever, we've saved up, and now they, it's gone. They were upset enough to come forward and be and very frustrated by the stall tactics and delays that they met. Uh, they all have a different story, but most of their stories are the same. They were promised something, and they didn't get it, and they were harmed tremendously as a result and and you know Gabby and I have worked very hard on this case over the last month and we commend the hard work by the investigators with precinct 3 and with the investigators in our office and we encourage um, any other counties that have received complaints reports uh, regarding this defendant to reach out to us to reach out either to me or to detective Tunstall and we we have no problem at all making this a collaborative effort. Okay. All righty. I think it's